Hello everybody and welcome to another nostalgia alert. This is Spy Fox. Um, it is a game that I have not played in a long time. But either way, <laughs> sorry. Um, I know these aren't the most popular streams, but I couldn't help it. I, I had to give in to the nostalgia today. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of what it what's gonna go down. If you've played Spy Fox before, then, you know, it's a little bit interesting, just like Freddy Fish, you know, but if you haven't played it before, you'll probably be like, what the heck is happening? <laughs> but, you know, that's the nature of humongous games. Also, a bit of for fair, fair warning, if you hear, like, a bunch of smacks or claps, it's because there's flies in here that are driving me crazy, and I'm trying to kill them. <laughs> And then if you hear a subsequent yelping from my dog, it's because she thinks that everything has a soul and gets mad at us when we smash cardboard boxes. So, <laughs> that being said, let's dive right into the first Spy Fox. Spy Fox in Dry Cereal. Got milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean <laughs> Sea. <laughs> Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. Hey, Gary, David. <laughs> Good to see you, Agent Fox. Ha! Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. <laughs> yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. <laughs> the feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. <laughs> Kira, did you ever play these ones? I don't remember if we played them together or not. I have not done the Egyptian Nancy Drew yet. Are you interested in watching that, David? <laughs> I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. I'm in no mood to tickle the ivories now. What mid-air is the best time to play the piano? I don't think I can have my cake and eat it too. <laughs> hmm. The mashed potatoes are very memorable. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. If you thought that was impressive, you should have seen the one that got away. Hmm, so this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. 
The music is what really gets me with these games, all of them. It just brings me right back to being, how old were we? Like six, six years old. <laughs> Sitting, sharing one chair, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's talk to this guy. Hey. Hey, wanna see my tattoo? <laughs> well. Your mother must be so proud. <laughs> that was interesting. What do I got over here? I was like, I'll be honest. The basket chair. You're right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I totally forgot about that chair. Man, I was, um, I'll be honest. I was considering whether or not I should look up a walkthrough. Looks like it's closed. In case I got stuck or anything, and I was like, what What am I talking about? This game is made for first graders. If I get stuck, I don't... I, I just need to send back my degree. 555-6220. Five, 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 two, two, How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. <sighs> Thank you, David. Yes, I am finally an affiliate. Yay! <laughs> Oh gosh, I already forgot what it was. Five five five. Five 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 six two two zero. Clear. Hello, Spycore Mobile Command Center. Penny, <laughs> I've got your number. Oh my gosh, I love these games so much. Now that. A person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Mm -mm. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square with a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the Spy Gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good. Because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. <laughs> now pay attention. <laughs> this is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. <laughs> Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Why did Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Did I tell you guys that I found but I turned the latency on, so in the future when we do play Nancy Drew games, <laughs> it shouldn't be as um tedious <laughs> waiting for things. What's this do? What's this do? Alright. What does this do? The number you have dialed is no longer. All right, let's move along. <laughs> how was your, how'd your haircut come out, Kira? Did you do something like way different or it was just a trim? My spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. <laughs> Fair enough, that's usually what I do, too. <sighs> Maybe someday I'll do something fun. I'm crazy, but... For now, you know. That's a big ship. I remember playing the demo for this game, and it was like, literally, this was it. You, like, get in here, and <laughs> this is all you could do in the demo. Oh, I love these games. What's this? I know I've I've done I've never done anything interesting or creative with my hair. I have a hard
hard enough time getting a good haircut. <laughs> Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Just because curly hair throws everybody off. A little much, don't you think? I love how he has to cut out a perfect silhouette of himself. <laughs> The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. And it was like you did all of this and you're like, gosh, I get to do something cool. And then you get in here and it's like, and that's the end of the demo. <laughs> now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an hey! odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. Got it. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. <laughs> Sorry, there's been flies flying around me all day, and I hate them, and I finally killed one. All right, let's make it. Let's put these the little fish on ice. seem to be slowing down. <laughs> Hmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. Oh, flies are so freaking annoying. <laughs> I actually really want a hamburger right now. <laughs> Is that horrible? <laughs> you saved me! Thank you, Mr. Um... Uh, Fox. Spy, Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good! I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox! All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. Oh my gosh. What is so when William the Kid Thugs made their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. Rhinoceros? There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body's a weapon. Then uh, suddenly, uh, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese! cheese. Maybe this is why the I hate feta cheese. The was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, Kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret Island Fortress. My whole body's a weapon. It was just so humiliating <laughs> being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. The kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. Ugh. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, Frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Bye, Fox. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. <laughs> Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. <laughs> we need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. Okay, 
So, yes, I've discovered why I hate goat cheese so much. That childhood trauma. You're right, Kira. And I've also discovered where my love for puns came from. <laughs> Thank you, Humongous Games. You made me the woman I am today. <laughs> what the heck? What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. <laughs> What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. <laughs> Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea! <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Sokka and Josh. Wow, I've been, I've been like itching. I, this is okay, this is how bad my, nostal my nostalgia got. The spy putty. Today, I was literally re watching my playthrough, my own playthrough of Freddy Fish. <laughs> and last night, I was like, hmm. I could really start rewatching Avatar. <laughs> hey, Pine Fox, how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty good for me. <laughs> how's it going for you? What is this? It do? appears to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. Yeah, I think this came out in the mid 90s. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. How illuminating. <laughs> yes, and it has excellent arch support. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Oh yeah, I know Kira, you just finished watching Korra. Wasn't it so good? Oh. Our support. Mmm, <laughs> it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works, because it's very scientific and complicated. <laughs> Trust me when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. <laughs> yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. Professor Quack, I know. What, what, Prime Fox, what games did you get? Did you finally get Prey? Is that a Bethesda Softworks game? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it totally is. Did you get Prey? That sounds like a good That is a cheese and safe cracker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I only got two more spaces left. All right, what does this do? Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. <laughs> Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemy. Nice, huh? <laughs> Heads I win, tails they lose. The naughty spy. I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. Oblivion. Oh, I still have to play Oblivion. And then Quake 2. Hmm, I never played those games. You have to let me know. Um, what handsome cufflinks. Are they think? gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. <laughs> the perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spy. Mmm, that was a tasty one. Oh, you did get prey in the summer sale? Oh, it's so good. I think you're gonna love it, Pine Fox. Fair enough, David. I Steven always tells me that I need to play it. I need to play Morrowind. 
and he always shows me that video of the guard. It's like, do your time or serve your sentence. <laughs> oh, halt, you have broken the law, or something like that. I can't remember it now. I, I feel like you'll probably know what video I'm talking about, though. <laughs> Oh, let's yeah. The suction cufflinks. Those are the handy. suction cufflinks. Even you've played Olivia and Kira. Damn, I need to get on top of it. Although, on a scale of one to ten, how hyped are you guys for the next Elder Scrolls? <laughs> X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor x-ray gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. Ugh. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. A duck needs his fiber. Uh, fair enough, Time Fox. I have a similar habit. I have at least six games right now that I've been meaning to play that I bought in the Steam Summer Sale last year. <laughs> fair enough. I have been waiting for um, for Skywind, which is kind of why I've been. Excuse me, Professor, off. but oh, sorry, I don't need to learn about that again. I know I am the X-ray gum. I am way, I'm like a million percent excited for uh, Starfield. I was actually just finished, well I'm still in the process of playing Freelancer. I love Space Sims to death, so I can't wait to see what Bethesda has in store for us. The House of Hype. <laughs> Fair enough. I can't wait. It's gonna take forever to come out though. This guy looks like he's got something to sell us. <laughs> Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. My name is Gilbert. How may I be of service to you, O oh, honorable visitor to this, our dear island home? I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your fine selection of trinkets. Sir, I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. We pride ourselves in having the island's finest selection of rare and hard to find collector items and antiquities. Excellent. One never knows when they will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge in a blatant act of bourgeois consumerism. <laughs> Our thoughts exactly, sir. Wow, what even, like why, what? I was six when I played this game. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, I'm for sure there's gonna be, you're gonna be able to put buckets over people's heads and still rob their shops. I, I'm 100% believe that that will be possible because just that, that's just how Bethesda's games are. <laughs> I know, right? Like, I, maybe this, you know, I know I read a lot as a child, but maybe I should, you know, I always say, you know, when people are like, I don't even know what that word means. And I tell them, you should read some more. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds super horrible of me, but maybe I should just tell him to play humongous games because <laughs> look at the same vocabulary. What could anyone possibly do with a whole jar of trinkets? It could be a paperweight. You could make a unique lamp out of it. It could be turned on its side to roll out cookie dough. There must be a million and one uses. <laughs> I love this guy. This is all of us. <laughs> Everybody who played this game, this is who they grew up to be. <laughs> Collecting random things nobody else really cares about. <laughs> with, gla <laughs> with glasses. This is me, you guys. This is me. <laughs> the door's locked. Grand Formaggio. <laughs> We use big words that nobody else understands because we like to feel important. <laughs> Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar, you just let me know. All right? Thanks, Bee. Okay, what do you guys think this is? It looks like a pizza base with 
giant Rocky Mountain oysters with like an algae base and a tomato. What's that sauce? You don't think it's mayonnaise, eh? Although, if they're Rocky Mountain oysters, it could be something else. I'm just saying. What's the trophy for? That's my cockadoodle food trophy. I took lessons from Master Ho Ho Doodle. <laughs> at least until I punched his stuffing out. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. So, you like playing the tango, do you? Oh, yeah. The tango really swings you crazy, cat. Plus, it's the only sheet music I have. Tomato slice. Oh, you think they're potatoes? Maybe I didn't think like the red potatoes. Meatballs. That's kind of what I was looking, but then they looked kind of. Anyways. <laughs> what? So, Pine Box, what do you think the green stuff is then? It looks like Reaching. seaweed salad. Interested in a little game of goofish, Mr. Fox? Spy Fox. I've been known to play Go Fish from time to time, and you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play some trinkets? I'm afraid I don't have anything I would call a trinket. How unfortunate. Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Hmm, it makes the game so much more interesting. Well, okay, now I need to know. Guacamole. Oh, fair enough. Tell your profession. Yes, of course. That's how everybody introduces myself. Hello, my name is Phoebe. I teach swim lessons to everybody, even though I have a degree in environmental science. <laughs> I also like to gamble while playing goldfish. <laughs> I like the jar of trinkets, but I'm wondering if you have them in cans. It's uncanny that you would ask me that, because just this morning I ordered some. Unfortunately, they won't be here till next week. Okay, can we buy this? So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll what? take it. Wait, what? We just got swindled. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. Oh, the commentary in this game. Oh, I know. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the tourism trade. Okay, I'm not going to play because obviously we're going to have to play for something. Invitation only. Oh, la la. That's quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy seagull stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's not your boat. No, it belongs to my boss. I I understand everything now, you guys. Where I came from, how it led me to be who I am today. Ugh, just dripping with sarcasm. <laughs> I mean, there wouldn't be anything else back here, would there? I can't imagine. So we're gonna have to. Ugh, I bet the pig has an invitation. Right. We have dry humor from playing Spy Fox and dry cereal. <laughs> I say it jokingly, but then I laugh at it because <laughs> obviously I'm hilarious. <laughs> All right, hey, we have some. I totally forgot what his name Would you was. Care to play some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent, then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play go fish for trinkets. Place your trinkets on the table, and we'll get started. I want Humongous Games to come out with a new game, and I want them to cast me as a voice actor. Because I think I would do a, a fabulous job voice acting for one of these games. <laughs> Just one of the so, weirdest... you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right, I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. A kazoo! There's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. And a pickle? Keychain, cucumber. Okay, we have two kings, two sixes. Got any kings? <laughs> Go fish. What's this? Now I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. Oh. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. What? 
There's nothing to talk about. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Well, he doesn't have any kings. I swear to God, if he steals my kings. Wait, isn't it my turn to go? Oh, maybe they've asked about, so I guess. Got any sixes? No, sir. Go fish. This is the content you guys signed up for. <laughs> Got any aces? Go fish. Uh. Got any kings? Go fish, sir. I'm so nervous he's gonna have a king and then take it away from me. Got any queens? Shoot. Got any sevens? Go fish. I suck at goldfish, I'll also you guys. Got any fives? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Darren. Got any fours? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any kings? Go fish, Mr. Fox. I just don't want him to take my kings away from me, okay, you guys? Oh, but Got I know. Got any jacks? Nope. Go fish. <gasps> I know he has. Ah, uh, how delightful. No, what? Got any threes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. So, the rules of go fish. You're trying to get four of a kind. Um, not suit, but card type, I guess. So, once I get one more king, then I can set those aside, and that's like a point, I guess, for me. And you want to have the most points at the end of the game. So, I know he has at least two queens, so I'm going to ask for a queen. Got any queen? That's one set of cards taken care of. You can play with a pair if you want, but if you want it to be a little more difficult, you play with four. Um, Got any kings? <laughs> Go fish. I will not let you take my kings from me. Got any aces? Go fish. Got any sixes? Go fish, sir. Got any nines? Yes. <laughs> Got any seven? <gasps> How did he know? Got any threes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Well, no, that would be an interesting twist on go fish if you tried to get four of a kind in suit instead. Got any kings? No, sir. Go fish. I swear to God, if he tells me he's mm. six. Got any ten? Uh. Got any jacks? Nice try, but you need to go fish. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Got any sixes? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Uh. Oh, this suits lucky. me just fine. Oh, he's sweating. <laughs> Got any kings? He's gonna lose his go pickle. Fish, Mr. Fox. <laughs> Got any twos? Yes, but I know you have some nines. Hmm, got any ten? Nope, go fish. I'm pretty sure he has nines at least. Got any nines? Yeah. Got any kings? <laughs> go fish. It's okay, I'm just as long as you don't take them away from me. Got any twos? Go fish. Ah, how delightful. What? Got any fours? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Okay, so this is, comes a, guess, a guessing game. Do you go for a king or a nine? Got any kings? Go fish, sir. What? The king must be at the bottom of the pile, you guys. <gasps> Got any eights? Go fish. No, but I know you have some too. Ah, how good I What? Got any fours? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Ah, how good I fall. Are you kidding me? Got any aces? I thought you said you were good at this game. <laughs> go fish. Asking for aces Got twice any in a row. Twos? Rookie move. I love this game. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Got any kings? No, sir. Go fish. Straight side. <laughs> Got any five? No! Can't. <laughs> I'm good. Got any eights? Nope. Go fish. I know, I can't believe that. Got any kings? Not a one, sir. Go fish. He's gotta have a king eventually, right? I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any seven? Go fish. Nope. Do I ask for a king? And that makes a set, sir. <sighs> mm. 
do I ask for a three? Well, that last one must have been a seven, right? Got any threes? Oh, this suits what? me just fine. All right, this is the only thing I got left. Got any kings? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Is it ace? Oh, got seven. any jacks? Nice try, <laughs> but you need to go fish. I'm pretty sure he's got at least two sevens. Got any sevens? I'll just take those off your hand. Oh, what? That's one set of cards taken Get care of. Get good, dude. <laughs> got any kings? I knew it. I love this game. I win. I'll take your pickle. Oh, that's right. You never lose. There's a first time for everything, Mr. <laughs> Big Pig. All right, I think that's enough. We have to obviously get some intel on people, but I'm not sure. Who would have an invitation? Can we use our cufflinks to climb up the ship? Would he care? Here's where I... I know I can find a better way into the deck party. Oh, what? Looks like a pretty fancy yacht. Fancy would be an understatement, sir. Unfathomably luxurious might be a closer description. <laughs> it says deck party, invitation only. Sounds like a swank affair to me. Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? To the party. On board. <laughs> sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. Oh, I'll have to remember that one. I can gather information about the deck party with this. All right, now I have the information. I have to remember that one. <laughs> You should make like a plane in the Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle and get lost. Haha, <laughs> that's so good. Hey, do you by chance know anything about this deck party? I noticed party? that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, oh so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one too. Would you like to look at it? Well, oh, yes. yes. I would love to look at it. <laughs> I'm so impressed that you got an invitation to this fancy deck party. Will you be wearing your tuxedo? No. I have chosen one of my finest all-cotton t-shirts to wear. One that will show off my impressive pectoral muscles. I'm sure. <laughs> Me, all the time. <laughs> so, what's the secret to your business's success? Three things. Location. 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 That's one thing. <laughs> okay, will he Here's let us? He's not gonna let us copy it right in front of him. I can't copy the invitation while he's looking right at me. So maybe I can do something to distract him. Well, not that. Although it is soothing. How well, much is that cute stuffed kitty you have there? It is a little expensive, sir. But I would be happy to throw in some free stuffed kitty litter. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear? Circa 1902? Yes, they are very rare. It may even be on the endangered antiquities list. Endangered antiquities? Okay, this obviously is... Oh, it oh. says, Trink, could you tell me a little about those pennants? Yes, those were actual pennants weighed by Emperor Theodosius himself at the 393 AD Olympics. Okay, let's think about this. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. I don't think, and then what's down there? The night vision shoe, and then the... What was the other thing? Aren't those conical, brimless hats called fezzes? If you say so. I've always thought of them as those funny-looking hats worn by old gentlemen driving those small cars in parades. <laughs> this guy. Okay. Do you think it would be okay if I borrowed your invitation? Of course not. This was sent to me and me alone. I, I know there's a way to get him to go away. Sir, there's a shoe bouncing on your awning. You should inspect that. Oh, 
I swear there's something creepy behind that brick. You should inspect there that. There must be some way for me to get on board that ship. Can I talk to this guy? Hey, want to see my tattoo? Oh, wow. That's something. I don't know anything about that. But do you want to see my tattoo? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> okay, Monkey Penny, got anything Please for stand us? by. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission going so far? So far, so good. I was just checking in. We're all fine here. Oh, uh, by the way, don't forget that you need to figure out a way to look at that information Mr. Utterly swallowed. Thanks. I'll come back in later and do that. Oh my Mobile gosh. Commit. How could I have been so silly? I can't believe I missed this, you guys. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. <laughs> Utterly, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. oh, this guy. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside He's Mr. Utterly's gut. I found the note. All right, now I need to find out where that punch card is. Then use it to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. Should I be writing this down? <laughs> I don't remember if I need to write this down. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> nah, you don't think so? Probably not. I mean, they don't expect six-year-olds to write things down, right? Okay. What am I doing? What was I supposed to do? You know, once I was trying to invent an electric tissue paper. Every time I went to blow my nose, I would almost get electrocuted. How shocking. Here's... Hey, according to Spycore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. <gasps> I suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Oh my gosh, how dare he have overdue library books. Did I miss... I, f I didn't hear what he said at the end. Oh, Mr. Dang. Utterly, guess what I need to do again. If I could find that punch card, then I'd be making some progress. Oh, we need to find the punch card. Get it. Oh, we should look that at the door. gadgets to see if there's... Night vision shoe. What does this do again? This is no ordinary coin, is it? Oh, it captures enemies, that's right. See, none of those things... Okay. Let's think about this. This is a game for first graders. So there's got to be something. Could I look at that impressive invitation again? All right, but try not to make this a habit. <laughs> okay. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Can we pay him for I'd it? love to take your money, sir, but wouldn't you like to buy something? Of course. <laughs> okay, okay, think, guys. What are we missing? Do you have any bigger fish? You should have seen the one that got away. <laughs> what? What are these things? Can't click on them. What's this? Wait just one moment. Could that possibly be the ship's steering wheel from the Titanic? I have a sinking suspicion it might be, sir. It mm. says trinkets. Can we? I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah. Is it? Oh, oh. Ah. There we go. Ah. I remember this silly buddy. She's everything on everything. You're right. Oh, forget it. I can't sell you that cat. It's still alive. Meow. Oh. Did you hear that? 
me out. There it was again. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh my gosh. Yep. You're right, Fine Fox. I'm glad that it worked out so well the first time around, because I was prepared to use literally every gadget on that guy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Not you again? How yes. many times do I have to tell you? At least this is two. This a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! The nerve of some people. You'd think they would. Yay! <laughs> Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board uh -huh. with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. What a weasel. <laughs> I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, <laughs> I trust you will let me know. But of course. This game, you guys. <laughs> So, oh, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. <laughs> and we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. I mean, you can't really argue with that. I have to say, you certainly have a unique conducting style. Thank you, sir. It runs in my family. My father was a train conductor. Now, if you don't mind, I'm a very busy. Um. Oh, okay. I guess I guess I won't question that. Oh well, now I can commandeer the ship. I say, we're going to Hawaii. There's literally nothing I can do in here. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Alright, I guess let's talk to who I assume is Russian Blue. Hello, you must be... Russian Blue. Noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadweight. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Would you care to dance, Miss Blue? I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to. And that is the tango. <laughs> I love the tango. Do you know why I love the tango, oh my. Mr. Fox? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Interesting. I've never done the math on that. <laughs> I can gather information about Russian Blue with this. So we need to get the guy from the club up here, right? Tell me about Russian Blue, Maestro. She throws a party like none other. I hear that a good tango puts a spell over her, too. What do you mean? Oh, it's all the rumors, you see. This crowd prefers a waltz anyway. I see. Thank you, sir. Or maybe we just need to take... It would be very interesting to track Russian Blue's movements. Maybe Monkey Penny has something up her sleeve. To take the music. Uh, let's go see Monkey Penny. Hey, according to Spy Corps' database, William the Kid has three overdue. Oh, I already heard that. Okay. Monkey Penny, what can you tell me about this Russian Blue I met over on the SS Deadweight? I'm glad you asked. Direct your attention to the screen. Here's what the Spy Corps database My has. My attention is Name. on the screen. Russian Blue. She also goes by Ms. Blue, Old Blue, and Kitty Kitty Kitty. Uh. Occupation. Owner and operator of the SS Deadweight. Head of public relations for NOG. Close associate of William the Kid. And one, Bad Kitty. Known felonies? Indecent tangoing. Acquitted. Dancing with intent to tango? Acquitted. J tangoing? Acquitted. Tangoing out of season? Acquitted. Comment. Russian Blue is obviously in cahoots with William the Kid. She's not only very dangerous, but she might be the perfect source of information regarding Kid's whereabouts. 
Interesting. It sounds like I should keep an eye on her. Better still, why don't you slip one of our tracking bugs into her purse? Then we can trace her movements all over the island. Walter Wireless is ready to go. Hey, Walter. Yes. You need Russian blue followed? I'm your bug. I'm on her like fleas on a dog. Or a cat, as it were. Excellent. Glad to have you aboard, Walt. Hop in. Yes, I love that it's an actual bug. I totally forgot about that. I thought we didn't meet him until the third game. Or the second game, I mean. Let's see if we can get some tango sheet music. Wouldn't you like to try playing something other than a tango? Well, you know, hey, I never really thought about it. I suppose if I had some other sheet music, but right now it's tango all the way, baby. Here's where Thank I keep you. my spy gadgets. Uh, okay. You stop that now. Pardon me, I thought one of the pages was about to fall. No. All right, he's gonna look away. Grab it now. Yes, okay. I've never been involved in a waltz snapping before. Okay, this is not so bad. Hey, I got you some new sheet music. Hey, what would you think about playing something a little slower for a change? Like I told you, man, I would if I could. So, unless you've got some new sheet music for me, the tango extravaganza continues. Would you oh. trade me some of your tango music for some of this waltz music? Would I? I've been dying for some new tunes. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Too Cool for a Foxy White Suit Jacket Guy. You are beautiful, <laughs> baby. Don't go changing. Nah. Give this gentle fox a Brussels sprout soda and put it on my tab sweet. You don't have a tab, Johnny. Too bad. Ugh. Brussels sprouts tuna. Drink. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of compliments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure that you can't just rip a page out of sheet music and have it work quite the same. But you know. You stop that now. Pardon me. Uh I will continue that now. Okay, come on. You gotta go fast, Spy Fox. What do you think you're- Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. We got this. <laughs> there we go. Hmm, I guess you can teach old dogs new tricks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be phenomenal. Do we get to talk to her? Oh, we should have put the bug in while we were so close. Did it work? Oh! Now I see why she likes to tango so much. Did it work? Nope, it didn't. Whoa. Excuse me, but you're in my way here. Okay, I did it incorrectly, apparently. You stop that now. Oh, what? He was about to turn around. Okay. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Okay, we got this this I time. I thought that would get him to change his tune. <laughs> it's like this uncontrollable urge that takes over. <laughs> okay. Did it work? Put the bug in. Yes, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this little parachute. She just throws I down. I love to tango, but now I must attend to some important business. Thank you for the divine tango, Miss Blue. I'm glad she waited for us to, you know, sneak a bug in her bag before... <laughs> before she walked off. Okay. 
Oh, there we go. I was like, we have to go better down? answer my spy watch. It could be about my dry cleaning. Right in front Please of this civilian. Please stand by. Hello, Monkey Penny. What's up? Spy Fox, one of our informants, Mata Harry, has turned up some vital information you may need to complete your mission. Rendezvous with her in front of the Nectar of the Goats factory door. We interrupt this program to bring you a special spy report. It Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. This is Walter Wireless, your undercover S tracking bug, coming to you live inside the purse of Russian Blue. Just moments ago, Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped in her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are presently speeding down what feels like a winding paved road towards an unknown location. We have just taken a sharp left, now a right. She is driving like a wildcat. I'll bring you more on this breaking story as it... Wait a minute. The car seems to be slowing down. Yes, it's come to a complete stop. I can't tell what's happening yet. Hang on. Oh, no. My cover has been compromised. Mayday. Mayday. For SpyCore News, this is Walter Wireless signing off. That was fabulous. Did a you plus. see that, Monkey Penny? I sure did. You better see if you can pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. I'll have it waiting for you in the town square, just behind the mobile command center. You better hurry, Spy Fox. Walt was one of our best field bugs. And don't forget about meeting up with the informant, Mata Harry, by the Feta factory. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. Instead of model dairy, Mata Harry. <laughs> I need to follow the trail Walter left for me on the spy radar. Let's go then. Oh, Jesus. Well, that was not great. Okay, he said left. Right. Nope. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna go right. Oh, this way. Nope. Wow, there's a lot of cliffs on this island. Okay. Well. <laughs> Forward? Oh, Jesus. This way. I know, right? Oh. Okay, this way. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm so glad that we have like all these parachutes and things, and our car is obviously so flexible. Wait, did I go that way last time? Nope. Obviously, over the bridge, right? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, duh. It's right here! Oh, I'm so silly. I can't believe it. <laughs> I keep forgetting this game is meant for children. Obviously, it's gonna put the answer right in front of you. Hey, Walter! Can we... This was probably a nice place, until someone came along and ruined it. I'm right over here, Spy Fox. Walter, what happened? Where did Russian Blue go? Sorry, Spy Fox. My cover was compromised. I thought I was going to get squashed there for a second, but luckily she dropped me and ducked into a secret passageway. I need to bug out of here. She mentioned something about an exterminator, and I don't have my gas mask. Yeah, <laughs> you'd better get going. Thanks for your help, Walt. My pleasure. Until next time, this is Walter Wireless signing off. And that's the way it is. Okay. That's odd. The Greeks didn't use hieroglyphics. Wait a second. I recognize it now. It's the ancient hieroglyphic language of the infamous Minoan Musaka cult. My Musaka hieroglyphic reading is a little rusty, but I know I can figure this out. I don't have to roll over and play dead to know that this symbol means dog. Well, that didn't work. I'm not going anywhere until I solve this ancient mystery. Really? 
Okay, I was like, um, I don't think we can solve this mystery right here. Okay, is this, is this gotta be open now? That's where the code is, it's gotta be. Okay, or not. I can't get in there until someone, I here. Alright, can we use our Here's where I keep my safe card? That's not going to do me any good. Oh well, before I forget. <coughs> we don't need this anymore. Nothing. So let's give this. That's the night vision shoe. And then let's get what was the other thing? This. That's one of those spy traps. Okay. Now we just need a code. Uh, am I supposed to figure this code out? Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Dog. Sad. This describes all kids eating dry cereal. Sad. Uh, weak. This is what I hope William the Kid turns out to be. Weak. Boy. It will be easy to get the skinny on this hieroglyphic. It means skinny. Oh. Cat. This one has nine lives. It means cat. This symbol means boy. This must be a part of some sort of secret password or code phrase. Oh boy. We. Well, what could it... Why... Even bleach wouldn't make this symbol any brighter. This one means white. And black. This hieroglyphic means black. Okie dokie. Black. All of the kids. I have no idea. What in the heck? Hey, according to- Okay, so we have to use our watch to get a hint. Please stand by. Do you know she's right next to us? I'm right behind you, Fox. Of course you are. I was just testing the watch. <laughs> well, she's not gonna give us a hint while we're there, though. Okay. Please stand by. By Fox. I'm glad you checked in. I just heard from our informant, Mata Harry. She's wondering where you are. Oh, right. Is she still waiting for me by the docks? Yes, but she says she's getting a little drained. Please hurry. Oh, by the docks. So I said in front of... Okay. Well, I'm glad I... <laughs> this is the docks, Monkey right? Penny said to meet Mata Harry here. I wonder where she's hiding. Hello? Oh. The robin has an egg in its nest. The eagle has a leg in its vest. Hello, Agent Fox. Oh. Hi, Mata Harry. What do you have for me? I intercepted what I think may be some sort of coded password, but I have no idea what it means. I'm sure it's important, though. All right, let's hear it. It goes like this. The happy fat boy. What a curious phrase. I'm sure you'll That's figure it? it out, Agent Fox. You always do. That's true, I do. All right, I gotta go chase down another lead. Ta-ta! Thanks, Mata. A hiding place like that must be really draining for her. Ha. 
Wait, it just, it's literally just... The happy fat boy. Well, okay. I thought it was going to be a lot more long and complicated than that, but I don't know what. Okay, the happy boy. Okay, well, there we go. They don't pay me enough to go into pools of snapping turtles. Now, oh. if they were clapping turtles, that would be another story. Oh, oh, I know. These suction <laughs> I know, should I know, help me form children. a closer attachment to this wall. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see the game you're playing. Okay. I'll leave my section cufflinks here in case I need to make a fast getaway later. I ask myself if I. <laughs> That's a large carton of milk. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox out. I'm in there like swimwear. Alright, obviously we need a uniform. That thing is not only giving me the eye, it gave me the boot. I'd better look for a uniform. <laughs> Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. I wonder what this diagram is for. It looks strangely significant. I know, it looks like levers. I wrote it down just in case. This looks conspicuous, so. It's a secret passageway. <laughs> Not so secret. Oh. What a clever secret entrance. William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. Oh, I thought that was something we needed. Grande fromaggio. Oh, right. Italian for the big cheese. How droll. Is that it? No way. Where's my homework? A yellow jumpsuit. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. No one would recognize me in one of these. Nectar of the Goats. What the heck? <laughs> All right, let's put on our uniform. That's not going to do me any good. Well then, here we go. Oh wow, that was uh -oh. fast. Someone's coming. I better hide. <laughs> Clever spy fox. <gasps> it's Russian blue. She doesn't have her uniform on. So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Ms. Blue, take this piece of paper from the easel in my office. It has the location of the punch card written on it. You must destroy it. That punch card is the only thing that can disarm the milky weapon of destruction now. Right away, your imperial goatness. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. 
I love how they have this super inconspicuous but I vital... need to get my hands on that punch card he mentioned. Meeting right in front of me makes it fabulous. This looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. Good thing I wrote it down. And then up. Yay! But first, what's back here? <gasps> oh no. This must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the Milky Weapon of Destruction is right here. Great! Now all you'll have to do is find the missing punch card so you can disarm the Milky Weapon of Destruction. Right! That shouldn't be too difficult. Spy Fox out. Look at me every time. Milky Weapon of Destruction. Alright, let's go up here and see what there is. Wait, where is, um, what's her face? Do you think she went back to the ship? No. Support your local chapter. Uh-oh. This must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. Goat milk? Ugh. It looks like a billboard. Hot butter. There's Kid's giant milk carton. Okay. That was uninformative. Oh. Uh, hello. Oh, yes, I know exactly. There's one sound the ear can hear better than any others. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. Really? Really? For a nickel? Man, you guys are being underpaid. <laughs> oh my goodness, this bit. <laughs> think of the trinkets you could buy, fair enough. I didn't think of that. Okay, don't want to- This isn't good at all! Let us down from here! Sorry, folks. I'm on a mission. I don't want to confront him before I have the key card. Okay, well. Okay, where will we find... I've been itching to take this jumpsuit. She's gotta be back on her boat, right? No. Hey, Junior. I tried to wait for you. Is she down here? No. What the heck? Please stand by. Spy Fox, thanks for checking in. How's it going? Never better, Monkey Penny. I'm just trying to figure out how to disarm that sinister milky weapon of destruction. Mr. Utterly mentioned something about needing a missing piece to disarm it. If I can find out more, I'll let you know. Well, that's Mobile the thing... Command Center. That's the thing that I need to know about. I'm pretty well. How are you doing? Okay. Here's where I keep this is no Excuse me. That's the X-ray gum. All right. Maybe I think that's all of them. So let's get 
sorry to do this to you, Miss. Is there anything else? Steak? Oh my gosh. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. Which it says, actually, today was my Sunday, so I didn't have work, which is awesome. Did you have work today? So we need the punch card, but what's your face has the punch card? I got. This is the last place in the world I expected to see an original Van Gogh painting. Ha <laughs> ha, Van Gogh. I guess. Okay. Yeah. I have Tuesday, Wednesdays off, at least for the next few weeks, and then I'll have Monday, Tuesdays off. I guess maybe I do I better put this disguise back on. <laughs> Well, yes. Fair enough. Maybe we do have to confront him. Although, I feel like... Okay, I'm gonna save. Whoops. Wednesday is your Saturday. Mobile Command Center. Uh, save. Okay. This way, in case things go totally wrong... <laughs> oh. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. Of no, course. No, no, I'm not coming out. <laughs> all right, all right. This must be the paper William the Kid mentioned. Now, can I get the location of that punch card? Van Goat. Oh, I was just looking at it. Red, blue, yellow. Okay. Van Goat R B Y. It would be silly not to snoop around kids' office. I'll come back here later. Alright. Let's go back to the office. I hate to be caught out of you. I mean, you know. <laughs> A real Van Gogh. Okay. Red. This seems to be some sort of multicolored lock mechanism. Blue. Aha! A secret wall safe. What an original. What an original idea. This cheese and safe cracker grip should do the trick. Oh, it's so hairy. Six, eight, seven. Okay, now for the tricky part. This seems to be working. One more to go. I'm in! Sometimes I amaze even myself. Those must be the punch cards. Which one do I need? Uh, this one. I wonder if this punch card will work. It matches the pattern that I sort of drew, so I'm hoping. None of the other ones look... I'd better close the safe. I don't want anyone to suspect that it's been tampered with. No, I didn't play the last episode yet. But I was feeling awfully nostalgic, so I wanted to play something from my childhood. Don't worry, I'll finish it on Saturday. Alright. I guess it... Okay, okay. Okay, hold on, really quick. <laughs> I gotta save. Save. Okay. Here we 
we go. I know there's a chase scene in this where you either get the good ending or the bad ending, so that's what I'm nervous about. I hope this is the right punch card. Oh, this poor beaver. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this game. That did the trick. Once again, I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelly fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction. But I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that oh, will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. It's a pretty good game. It's pretty old, but yeah, thanks for hosting, Junior. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one. If you think you can save the cows, Adios, Mr. Fox. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Stupid door. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now, all I have to do is find that ascot. All right. I think I have an idea of where we're going. I went the wrong way. Oh well, yep. That's pretty much what I thought. That's Kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding the cow. It's a huge ascot. I'd better hurry. <laughs> that is one big chicken. I bet that's Cockadoodle Foo. And what's her face can teach us how to beat him. All right, here I we go. To... Tell me, B, what's a bright, muscular-looking bear like you doing in a rundown cantina like this? I ask myself that every morning, honey. Oh, do we have to interact with him before we can actually? I bet we do. Dang it! All right, it's okay. <laughs> Thank goodness we can skip most of it. Is this thing? Hello there, puny puppy-like creature. Oh, I didn't realize you that are things. probably intimidated by my rippling muscles. Do you happen to know the ways of a cockadoodle foo warrior? Cockadoodle foo, you say? It sounds familiar. I just noticed all of the. I can use this to gather information about cockadoodle foo and that funky chicken. The guys that are knocked out in the bottom. <laughs> All right, now I'm sure we can ask her about it. Sorry, I hate to be. Sorry, I forget how these games work. <laughs> okay. Hey, B. B, do you know anything about cockadoodle foo? Well, I dabbled in a professional career as a cockadoodle foo fighter for a few years. Everything I learned came from a book. A book? Yeah, you can have it if you're interested. It's all too violent for me now. I've moved to a more 
spiritual phase of life. Okay. All right, now. Thanks, B. You may have just saved the planet from this dairy drought. You're a superstar. <laughs> All right, now I'm sure we can be the guy. You. Go up the ladder, cross the thing into. Okay. Safe. <laughs> okay. I don't think you All right, my little furball. Now try the cinnamon twist on for size. This cockadoodle foo book from B should help me defeat that funky chicken. Okay, let me see. I'm glad that he lets us um <laughs> look up. This is definitely the cinnamon twist, right? I need to select a counterattack. Cockadoodle foo looks like a piece of cake. Now that I see the instruction manual, this fancy counter move should work on my overinflated opponent. All right, Doodle, I'm going to counter that with the triple ventuzler. Is that? Oh my gosh, that was it! <laughs> Thanks for announcing the move you were gonna do. What? What happened? I didn't think I could beat you, huh? Well, I'd stay and toy with you longer, but it looks like you're all tied up. Wait a minute! How about two out of three falls? No, let's make it best of seven! You can't leave me like this! Kaka toodaloo uh -huh. Kaka toodaloo Gotta remember that. Alright. The kidnapped dairy cows! Mm. I found them! Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. I love how there's like one, two, three, four, five, six cows in the whole world, apparently. We've got to be getting close to the chase scene soon. I know we are. I hereby declare you free range cows. Oh, see, there's way more than six now. He has a blimp! Of course he has a blimp, he's a bad guy. You think you won, <sighs> Spy Fox, but you're wrong. Go ahead, free the cows this time, but I'll be back to milk the world yet again. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. All right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I failed this last time I played this game, which is why I'm intent on getting it this time. Okay. Think fast, Fox. This road ends just ahead. <gasps> This'll eject me right onto Kid's Blimp. Eh, uh, yeah. Chase Tina Coco. Now that was an entrance. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. It does by. sound super gross. <laughs> Spy Fox, have you found William the Kid yet? I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox, you can't let William the Kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. That's true. What should I do when I nab him? We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 14 degrees south, 16 degrees west. You need to fly the blimp over it. I'll transmit the coordinates to the spy watch in case you need to look at them again. Now I need to maneuver this ghastly blimp to that location. I'll get that dastardly villain. All right, I wrote it down. 14 south, 16 west. Oh my gosh. What's up here? Oh, well, what's this? Bread. I love how Spy Fox Looks is like concerned. someone didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. 
I love how he's concerned about what the spies will do when there's no more supervillains. <laughs> and Penny's just like, there's gonna be plenty of supervillains left, don't worry about it. An electric screwdriver set. This could come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws somewhere. Should I go through there or should I go through the other one? This looks like some sort of conveyance between the front and the back of Kid's Blimp. Okay, well apparently I can't go in. <laughs> So let's hopefully take this. Over this reminds there. me of my high flying days in the Spy Air Corps. <laughs> that looks like the entrance to the front of Kid's overblown blimp. I've got to get over there. I hope this old rust bucket with wings is airworthy. Same. Oh, fingers crossed, it works. Grab it, Spy Fox! Grab it! Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> A2 pilot. This must be the control pilot. room for kids' diabolical getaway blimp. Alright. Is he gonna notice a navigation I... panel? Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption over the evil villain jail. Then oh. I can finally put William the Kid where he belongs. I'm a 14 south, dang, and then 16 west. Just like, <laughs> okay. Now I just need to find a way to get Kid out of this blimp and into Evil Villain Jail. Okay, what's... Well, that's where I came from. That's back to the front. What's... Okay. Save. <laughs> and then, what's this do? Aha! The ejection seat controls must be here. I can finally throw Kid into Evil Villain Jail. <laughs> All right. Is it really a toaster? That did the trick. Fancy screwdriver. Hmm. What an interesting device. It's just like the toaster we have back at Spy Corps cafeteria. <laughs> All right. A piece of rye bread might do the trick. <laughs> Toast. Well, all My right. trap is set. I better hurry. Hurry. What's going on? <laughs> the blimp is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy Fox? I'm really getting tired of your meddling in my dairy domination plans. Yes, well, I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment before you go. Haha, <laughs> toast. Go? What do you mean by that? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Too bad there was only one parachute. Hopefully there's nobody else on that, that blimp. That looked painful. I guess Kid will be serving up his goat byproducts in evil villain jail from now on. I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. Spy fox! <laughs> There's a hole in your ceiling, it's okay. You'll pay for this. I'll be back! No jail can hold William the Kid. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, he looks so sad. Already getting started. Counting down the days. Later that day. Walter Wireless here with our top story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starvations of the world from a near disastrous milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the president is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already in progress. 
for outstanding heroism and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos and for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice. I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the Big Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, yes. thank you, Mr. President. It was a routine a good... mission, really. Three cheers for Spy Fox. I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? Oh, man. I love this game. Yes, it is very entertaining. Thank you, guys. And that's not it, Junior. There's two more. <laughs> So I am going to use the restroom really quick. See George Bush, yeah, fair enough. I'm going to use the restroom really quick and then we'll be back with Spy Fox 2, some assembly required.